Yo guys, what's going on? This is Francois with the Image Eye. Today, I want to talk to you about the 35 millimeter G Master 1.4 from Sony and how this lens was my most used lens in 2022, but I actually might be selling this lens. Whenever I'm traveling around Korea, I'm always thinking about which lenses I should take with me in my bag. There's limited space in the bag, so I want to take with me a wide lens that I can capture all of the landscape when I go traveling, but I also want to take a lens with me where I can focus down on food or other items that I might find while I'm traveling. The lens that I decided to take or that I usually decide to take is the 35 millimeter G Master from Sony. Yeah, so this lens is wide enough to take landscape shots and it's also got this really nice minimal focus distance. So I can get like macro like shots whenever I'm eating or when I see some paraphernalia that I want to take photos of. I love taking it with me and I also love it for street photography and I use it sometimes for event photography as well. It's actually a very well-rounded lens. It covers a lot of situations that I usually shoot in. As I use the lens, for maybe 85% of all of my shoots last year. I found myself this year in 2023 not really using this lens as much. I'm a really big street photographer, but more specifically, I love night photography. So the 1.4 is great for night photography when the lighting outside isn't so good. There's no moonlight or there's no ambient light around. This year in 2023, my use case for this lens is starting to drop. I have not shot with this lens at all this year, except for the video that I'm about to show you now. I find myself these days using the 24 millimeter G Master more often than the 35 millimeter. So I'm considering selling this lens, even though it was my most used lens last year and the use case for this lens is still there. I'm making room for different lenses and different cameras. So later I'm going to add the Sony ZV-E1 and I want a lighter footprint. So maybe I don't need to bring the 35 millimeter uh, G Master, maybe I can get the 16 to 35 millimeter. And I'm going to also sell a few of my other lenses because I just have too many lenses. And some of them are just sitting on the cabinet collecting dust, especially my 135 millimeter. Like it's really just sitting there. I really love this lens. Since the use case for this lens is falling, I think that it's time for it to go or I'm highly considering letting it go. But don't get me wrong, as I said before, I love this lens for travel photography. When I go around Korea, traveling to different cities, this is the only lens that I take. I only take the 35 millimeter. And that's because it captures everything that I need. And the video quality from this lens is exceptional. The manual focusing. I don't usually shoot manual focus, but these days I'm learning how to shoot manual focus more often than I had in the past. And let me tell you, the images from the manual focusing on this lens is very, very sharp, like extremely sharp. I was surprised when I went on my trip and it made me kind of reconsider wanting to sell this lens. Hell, even talking about it now has me wanting to reconsider selling this lens. Like really, should I? Should I get rid of it? I don't really need the money for buying anything else. I could buy whatever I want to buy. It's just the, the principle of the matter, having things around that you don't need. And what happens if one day this lens falls or uh, it breaks or there's mold or something happens to the mount? I have to replace the lens. That could cost me extra money. So maybe it's better for me to get rid of it than to keep it around and not use it as often. Or who knows, maybe the use case for this lens will you know increase as 223 continues to go on. But I'm not sure because my events and the work that I do is starting to change. I'm focusing more on vlogging and content creating for Instagram and YouTube shorts on my travel food vlogging channel. And on this channel, I mainly do sit downs. I don't know. I don't really use this lens for sit downs. I use more uh, often than not the 20 millimeter G or sometimes a 24 millimeter. So yeah, guys, why don't you let me know what you think? Do you think it's worth keeping this lens even though it's fantastic? However, 
I'm not using it very often. So is it better to get rid of it or is it better to keep it? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a lovely day. See you next time. Peace.